Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use some action sheets and um, UI alert views. So create a new Xcode project and then choose a single view application. And I'm going to use a storyboard and automatic reference counting. And I'm going to call this action sheet um, alert view tutorial. All right, and then create our project and in the main storyboard I'm just I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a label and a button so my label will be here and my button I'm gonna call it um, so I'm gonna have two buttons this one's gonna be call show alert and this other buttons gonna be call show action sheet And I'm gonna change the background of my um, my app to orange. Okay, so and then we'll make our necessary connections. Our label. I'm gonna make it a uh, outlet and name is gonna be called display label. And our two buttons. I'm gonna call this button. Um, show alert button and the connection will be an action type is ID event is touch up inside argument sender and the other button the show action sheet button I'm gonna call it show action sheet button type ID event touch up inside argument sender so that's our connections and now let's go to save our storyboard and go to our view controller dot okay so here's my um, controller view control implementation file and I can let's do the show alert first all right show alert button just say UI alert view I'm gonna call it alert view equals UI alert view alec init with title so init with title is the title that we want to um, at the title of our alert view so I'm gonna say um, alert title all right message should be you did something so that's our message. Delegate will be self. Um, actually, for this uh, delegate, I'll just use nil. Delegate is nil. Nil. Cancel button title. I'm gonna call it cancel. Other button title. I can have more buttons, so I'll just have a. Uh, I'll add two more buttons. I'll add an OK button and I'll add a Sure button. Alright, and then that's pretty much our alert view. Let's see what it doesn't like. Alright, it needs one more bracket. Here and here. No, let's see what I'm missing. So there, and then we're gonna we can set the other stuff of the alert view too. So for example, alert view, set background color, UI color. If I want to make it the same theme, orange color, then I can do that. All right. Now, in the end, we have to say alert view show, and then they'll show our alert view. And let's run it on our iPhone simulator. And that alert view should show up when we click the show alert button. Show alert button, there we go. All right, alert title, you did something with the little orange background here that you can see. Um, okay, sure, and cancel button. So those are our, um, 
those are our um, buttons that popped up and this is our title this is our message and these are the buttons that we've added and we can we can have it say do something in the label too but I was I will save that for the show action sheet so that's how pretty much how you pop up an alert right now each of the buttons doesn't do anything because we haven't we didn't tell it to do anything we'll do that in the show action sheet buttons so in the show action sheet button we can say uh, UI action actually we need to set um, the delegate also in here so go back to your view controller header file and say um, UI action sheet delegate and if we wanted to we can also do UI alert view delegate and then we can set the when we set the delegate to new previously we can set it so that when we click a button it'll do something that we want but for, for this tutorial I'm only gonna do the UI action sheet delegate and I'll show you one alright and then we're gonna create a UI action sheet I'm gonna call it action sheet equals UI action sheet alec init with title again init with title delegate cancel button destructive button it's a long method name init with title I'm gonna call this alert sheet title delegate will be self cancel button I'll again I'll call it cancel and destructive button title we don't have to have a destructive title we can we can say nil but if we do we can call it like destruct and other buttons title let's say we want to add a couple more titles we can say button one button two all right so those are a lot of type a lot of buttons so we should looks like we should have four titles I mean four buttons okay let me add one more okay so we have a cancel button a destruct button a button one and a button two and we're gonna say Action sheet show in view show in view and it's gonna be self dot view. Alright. Okay. Maybe it doesn't like it doesn't need that brackets. Okay. So now I should show in view. It might have it might give me an error here because I didn't define the delegate method yet. Let's see okay it doesn't give me an error so that's good but it doesn't do anything so there's our four buttons our cancel our destruct buttons and our two other buttons so let me make the destruct button nil it's, I, it's kind of red and it makes it look too complicated here so I've narrowed it down to three buttons show action button one and button two and the cancel all right and our delegate method name is called action sheet um, click button at index so we can say if button index equals equals one zero then the label it will be you can this self display label set text button zero click Right. Else, if button index equals equals one, you can say self display label set text at button one clicked. Okay, the name might be kind of misleading, but let's run it and see that we get something show action sheet click button one there button zero click click button two button one clicked click cancel it doesn't do anything and um, 
let's add our destruct button back in here then we can see what what button it's actually called destruct let's see if it's still the same thing destruct buttons okay so our destruct become becomes our button zero our button one is our button one and our cancel doesn't do anything alright so now the top button is button zero I'm gonna rename it destruct click and or else that's our third button we're gonna self display label set text button to click Stop. Cancel. Oh, okay, that shouldn't be in our else statement. That should be else if. Else if button index equals equals two. Or else we can say self display label set text at cancel button clicked. All right, there run it all right show action sheet and you click on destruct it says destruct click when we click button one button one clicked button two click clicked on cancel cancel button clicked all right so that's pretty much how we use our action sheets in delicate in case you want to confirm something with your user like if they want to delete a file or something you can give them a warning like oh are you sure you want to delete this and once they like are you sure you want to delete this like so they have another chance to back out so when they say cancel they're not they don't have to delete it or like so instead of this code this code in here you can do like the code that you actually want to do like go proceed with the actual deletion or like do something else so here you have a show action sheet method and uh, this is where you create the action sheet instance initialize the title all the buttons and then um, do a show in view and for the sh for the UI alert view the same thing you do a show I alert view create an ins a pointer to an instance of UI alert view you set the title you set the message and then you set the um, all the all the all the buttons in here and also one more thing you can I think you can do with the action sheet you can say action sheet um, it's not set set message but maybe you say set um, let's see action sheet dot Action sheet dot description. Let's see. Action sheet. Set title. No. Hmm. You look for this one method real quick because I remember you can set uh, you can add something similar to a message in your action sheet um, set bound set background color all right I can't find that right now all right yeah I can't find that right now but there's a way also that you can like when you click this right here in addition to the action sheet title you can um, then you can add something else I'm not sure if last time I did it I added to the action sheet title to make it a really long title but anyways that's pretty much how you do your action sheet and um, alert view Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.